welcome to the virtual barbershop. I, as you know, am Manuel. I play the guitar. I also bring you fine quality audio entertainment. And this week, we have Mitzi from Oceanside, California. She gonna cut your hair. Hey, Mitzi, cut some more for you. Oh. My. God. Look at you. You are the cutest thing I've ever seen, man. Well, did you, do you see this? Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at, oh, we are going to do so much amazing hair today. This is going to be so cool. I am so excited. Oh my God. Oh my God. Have you ever been this excited before? Ever? All right. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna do the hair, and, and you're gonna sit there, and you're gonna relax, and it's gonna be amazing, and you're gonna tell me all about your day, because I totally wanna hear about it, because like, I totally care, and I want my, I want my clients to like, feel like they're loved, and, and that they're important, and that they can come, and they can sit in my chair, and just like, totally relax, and you know, not really have to worry about anything, or like, you know, pay attention to all of the drama and all the hubbub that's going on. Oh my God. Speaking of drama, did you hear about that thing with Charlie Sheen? It was crazy. Like all of this bullying and all of this stuff that's going on lately with these kids. I mean, like, I don't even know really know why you would have kids because, ew. But anyway, so like his kids, right? Somebody was like bullying them at school and and he didn't like it or whatever. So he said something to them and then like did you hear? They like they totally wrote like this really nasty letter and like stabbed it into into the tree in front of their house with with are you ready for this? A steak knife. A steak knife. Like first of all, I don't really even think that a steak knife would go into a tree because like steak knives are kind of weak sauce, but you never know. So he did that and then he said something really nasty back to them and he said like he was going to like stab them in the heart or something. It was terrible. I was like, why would somebody totally do that? That doesn't even make sense. So what is been going on with you? Like, oh my God, I'm sure that there's just so much going on and you have so much, oh my God, did I tell you about Christina? So she's totally pregnant, like really, really, really pregnant. And like, she's supposed to have her baby like any day, but it won't come. Like she just, she can't go into labor for some reason. And like, so this baby won't come. She is going to be the size of a house by like tomorrow because she's practically that big anyway. And she's so unhappy and miserable. And I told her, I was like, Christina, you totally shouldn't have a kid anyway because it'll make you fat and miserable. But she didn't listen to me. And so now she's pregnant and she's super huge and the baby won't come. And she's like gonna miss out on work and it's gonna be really terrible. She's gonna be really upset. So that's crazy. And then Lindsay told me the other day, just the craziest thing, she lost her phone. And she, you know, she tried and tried and she like, she has an iPhone, right? So she tried to do that tracking thing. And it turns out that it was at the reception hall for like this wedding that she's supposed to be in or something. And she left it there after the rehearsal dinner. So like she tracked the phone, right? She went to Sprint and like, she's like, I lost my phone. Will you track it? And blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah, sure. So they totally track it. And it was at the reception hall. So she's like, oh my gosh, no way. So she called him up. She's like, hey, I left my phone. Can you grab it for me? And I'll come pick it up. Get this. She's on the phone with them. She tells them all that. They tell her they don't have her phone. Can you believe it? They totally told her they didn't have her phone. So then she's like, oh my God, that it must be a mistake. You know, are you sure? And they're like, yeah, we're totally sure. So she's like, well, I lost my phone. And she was super upset. So then she's like, well, I need a phone, you know, because you can't leave without your phone. Like, how are you supposed to, like, play words with friends and, like, Facebook and stuff, you know? So anyway, so she found this phone, like, same phone that she had for super cheap on Craigslist, right? And so she went and she was going to buy it from this guy. She gave him directions to, like, meet her and stuff. And apparently he shows up 
in this, oh my God, the like the ugliest car ever. It was like orange, really orange. And like, it's one of those, what are they called? It's like those cars, but they're like half car, half truck. Manuel, what are those cars called that are like half car, half truck? Uh, like, you know. Truckosaurus. No, well, I mean, yeah, that's what I call them because that's what a, they look like. It's El Camino. El Camino? Oh, I believe Isn't that in like another language or something? Yeah, yeah. it's a Spanish for the road. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the road. Uh, I think also in Australia, there's a, it's a, a it's a truck car called the mullet. It's no, like, that's a haircut that gross people in Wisconsin wear. Uh, okay. Uh, it's like... Okay. Well, no, that's fine. Whatever, whatever, Manuel. Okay, whatever. Uh, just play Just play guitar. Okay, okay I'm I, talking. Right, okay. okay anyway, so this guy, right, shows up in this orange El Camino or whatever oh, they're called. And... Like, and so he gives her the phone, right? She paid him like $200 for this phone and like, and he leaves. And so she's like, oh my God, I've got my phone now. I'm complete. And so she goes back to Sprint so that they can activate it. Oh my God, you're never going to believe this. Are you ready? It was stolen. Seriously, I know. Like, uh, some, the thing, the card that's like in the phone that like, the companies turn on or whatever, whatever it's called, like a SIM card or something. I don't know. Anyway, that thing totally belonged to somebody else that like didn't pay their bill or something, but the phone was still active. So basically she totally got scammed. It was ridiculous. She was so upset. So we're like, what are you going to do? Oh my God. And so she was borrowing her sister's phone for a couple of days, which got really annoying because her boyfriend would call and then her sister's husband would call and then like the kids would call. And like, it was just confusing trying to keep everybody's phone call straight. And then like Lindsay would have the phone when her sister needed it. And it just, it was terrible. So then you're never going to believe what's happened yesterday. Yesterday, that place calls, that reception hall did they called Lindsay and like on her sister's phone and she didn't recognize the number so she wasn't going to pick up right because why would you pick up numbers that you don't recognize and then so she finally she was like I don't even know maybe it's that guy who like totally jipped me out of two hundred dollars right because somebody needs to go throw a brick through that guy's window but anyway no so she picked it up and it was the reception hall and they're like um we have your phone and she's like, wait, what? Because when I called you last time, you said you didn't have my phone, and now you have my phone. And they're like, yeah, well, um, we don't know what happened, but we have your phone, so you should probably come pick it up. So after all of this, she finally gets her phone back, but since she had it deactivated because she said that it got stolen, now she has to pay a reactivation fee. And I told her in the end, I was like, girl, you know what? You just need to not drink so much wine and put your phone down. I mean, you have a clutch. That's what a clutch is for. Keep it on your wrist. Keep your stuff together. Don't ever put your stuff down because then you lose it and then you lose $200 and all this other noise. I was like, so you're silly. Oh my God. Look how amazing you look. I wasn't even paying attention. God, this is awesome. I am so good. Wow. Mm, girl, you, yeah, mm, that's just, I'm so good. Oh, I'm so happy. Awesome. All right, well, hmm, I'm done. And, um, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Ah, you look great. And, uh, and, uh, nobody cut off your ear today. That's pretty good, right? Anyway, thanks for coming to the Versal Barber Shop. Come back. See us next week. Every Sunday, new videos. Okay.